What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and today I'm scrapping one of my favorite photos of Archie. So this is Archie and his uncle Tim, which is Aaron's brother. And Aaron's brother, like Aaron, is into video games. And I love this photo of Tim playing on our Xbox, and Archie's just so happy, just sitting next to him, just enjoying the moment and it's the look on his face is hilarious this was taken probably when he was about four months five months old and I just love this photo so I'm using a few bits and pieces here I'm using some bits from my stash uh, and I'm also using a piece of star paper from the Coco Vanilla it's an older collection I think it's you rock uh, and I cut out all of the stars as you can see them in a pile there before I film this because you don't need to watch me cut out stars it's not too exciting and I don't want to bore you so I'm just using some white tissue I think it's like tissue paper it was on a package and I kept it because I'm a hoarder of tissue paper and packaging and uh, it's really nice it's not it's not tissue paper it's kind of like glassine paper but not it's it's a funny paper I'm using that to matte my picture because the picture is quite dark so I felt by matting it with the white it kind of brightened it a little bit and then I'm using this beautiful beautiful it's kind of like a cut apart strip uh, paper from the collection and some more tissue paper or not maybe oh, I'm getting this now this tissue paper definitely came on a gift I didn't buy it and it's the most beautiful color and I haven't been able to find it it's a real teal color it kind of gives off aqua hues if you pair it with the right papers and it's just gorgeous I if you're new to scrapbooking and you're not too worried about the archival quality of your products because I don't think tissue paper is archival friendly um, it, tissue paper is a great it's very cheap as well and it kind of gives you gives your layouts a bit of texture and makes them look a bit less flat uh, I'm adding that snippy <laughs> why do I say snippy strip strippy type paper stripy not strippy my words and zooming out of my head today and then I'm adding some black as well just to darken it up a little bit because there's a lot of bright colors here now I can safely say I don't think I've made a layout that's red yellow and blue it's very primary colors it's a bit out of my comfort zone but I'm giving it a go so now I'm going to do some misting in the background and I'm using my basil marshmallow cardstock which is primed and ready to go for mixed media it doesn't absorb the inks as much as normal cardstock like the American Crafts cardstock I know because I've used that one uh, and it kind of makes your mist a little bit more vibrant I would say so I'm using a mixture of, I think it's Dilutions and Distress Inks, Distress Mists. And I'm doing some extra splatters. Now this layout does become very busy and I I do love it. Um, it's There's a lot of things in this layout that were outside my comfort zone. When I've sat down to film this video, I had, I think I had a spare half hour while Archie was napping and I thought I'll just do a real quick and easy layout. And I ended up making a long and complicated layout out of my comfort zone, but that's how I seem to roll when it comes to filming time. So I'm now going to stick down my photo cluster of layering papers and I'm going to stick that right in the middle. And you can see I didn't really do any splatters there because I knew that uh, the photo was going to cover it up anyway. Next up, it's time to oh no I'm doing a bit of a doodly border around the photo this is something that I've done in a couple of layouts in the last month and I really like it it's something different it's it's yeah it's really I think it's nice especially when you see how busy this layout does get uh, it's nice because it contains the photo I find I've said before the doodly borders in my eyes it's like a fence around your card or your layout and this kind of fence is in the photo so it doesn't get too mixed up with all these stars I'm using some older chipboard stars from studio calico that are probably some of my oldest stash that I've got maybe four or five years old and then I'm using all of these stars that I cut out from that cocoa vanilla paper which 
I'm sure you can still get somewhere. Uh, it is one of their older collections though, and I'm sticking them everywhere. Now I haven't pre-planned this, and I think that that's just the way that I work. If you want to put all of the stars down and then take them off one by one and re-stick them, that's perfectly fine. I find that if I do that, I second guess myself too much and then the layout doesn't get finished or it takes twice as long to do. So I just like to stick and plonk. I need to get a, sh I need to design a shirt for my threadless um, shirts that I do that says stick and plonk. I really do. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for, if you're part of my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, uh, or if you're looking for a nice scrappy t-shirt, I do have some available on inkyquill.com. It's a little plug for that. <laughs> I, I can't sell myself, guys. All right, back to the layout. I'm using some punch stars that I had as well as some uh, larger star enamel dots that I just don't really like anymore. And I feel like these kind of layouts that have a whole lot of uh, similar shapes all put together are great for using supplies that you, you like, but you don't really want to use. So the stars that I had that were larger star enamel dots, every time I use them on a layout, I think they stand out too much. I think they're too big. Uh, they're really glittery and glimmery and I think it's just a little too much when I use them by themselves but when you put them amongst something like this they blend in and it doesn't seem so in your face so I'm adding some of my teeny tiny stars which are my favorite as well as some of this uh, stick sheet from the reset girl and I'm basically just going star crazy stars aren't my go-to shape we all know what is my go-to shape hearts and I'm on the hunt for a good star punch, a large star punch, because I have a small one that's about maybe a centimetre uh, wide, but I'd like a really large one. When I say really large, I mean like an inch and a half to two inches, not, not astronomically huge. I'm now cutting off all of the overhang and then let's see, I need to figure out my title. So because this layout was so busy, I was trying to figure out where to also put some journaling. I was, I left that little spot. You can see just above the photo, there's a bit of a white space. And I felt like the layout kind of just needed a little gap. It needed somewhere for your eye to just have a rest because I find that if layouts are too uh, busy with lots and lots of embellishments and lots and lots of things, then I don't enjoy looking at them as much when I flip through my albums. I always like to have some sort of white space where your eye can just kind of have a little relax before it takes in the rest of the layout. Heidi Shine, shake, 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 shake your Heidi Shine, shake your Heidi Shine. If you're new to my channel, you're wondering why I just broke out into song. Heidi Shine singing is my my thing. It originated a long time ago. I accidentally uh, mispronounced Heidi Swap Color Shine as to Heidi Shine and the name has stuck so sorry about the the singing little randomness so now it's time to do my title and I'm determined to try and use up these cursive words I love them um, but I want to try and use them up because my from experience I like to half use these sheets and then forget about them so I'm trying to use up as much as I can before maybe retiring it uh, to my art journal or somewhere else. I decided to call this one Gamer Squad because they do look like they're in a little squad especially with the blue bear that's we call him Barry uh, up the top of the the couch there as well so I thought it was a cute way to use the word squad which isn't something so if I did just did a photo of Archie by himself or a selfie of me or something like that I would never use the word squad um, so I thought this was an appropriate time to to use it now I I accidentally did that squad and sorry the gamer over too far I should have really moved it back a bit so I did kind of have to cut my D a little bit and work it out. I wish the whole thing could have been moved over but those uh, greyish black line stickers they rip when they pull up. So then I decided I needed an embellishment and to, to juxtapose the video game star bright past, uh, bright primary colours of this layout I decided to pull out a little fluffy innocent bunny because 
why not? Um, it, I thought it went with the grey of the title. The title is really black, but it does come off as grey. Um, but I decided to do this little bunny and I think it's it's got a little writing on it. It might say some bunny loves you or something like that. This little container that I have on my left here is a container of embellishments that I keep on my Rascog trolley and it's really handy when I just need a little something. I need to sort out a better way to store my embellishments. Uh, let me know in the comments how you store your embellishments. Currently I have a couple of videos on how I've stored mine in the past and currently I have a uh, a container that ha it's for a, it's called a magazine rack or a brochure holder and it's basically for businesses to put their brochures in so the layers of the uh, rack are stacked so that you can see things clearly I, that's not making any sense it's kind of like stairs so things that you put in the bottom shelf are low and then things you put in the top shelf are high so you can see them and then I also have this little container that has my loose embellishments in it. But I also have boxes of other embellishments. So I really, that's something that I think, um, I think I might need to sort through. If you'd like me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, and I can kind of talk through my process about how I currently store them and maybe some ideas and options for how I could store them. We'll, we'll see what happens. So now I'm just adding a few little embellishments, some little stars that I had punched out with gold paper and my journaling's done on that little label there's not too much to say for this photo I'm trying to figure out where to put something and it just needed one last little thing so i grabbed my roller stamps it just needed something down the bottom there that wasn't text but that, sorry that wasn't writing but was some sort of text and i love the ghost um, stamping i know a lot of people don't and that's that's all good there's no rules in scrapbooking um, but ghost stamping is where you stamp it once with the dark ink and then stamp it again without re-inking it so it gets lighter and lighter each time you stamp it. I really like the look of it. It's messy, it's fun uh, and it kind of suits this layout pretty well. So this one's all done. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments below and by giving it a thumbs up, it really does help my channel and it helps my videos be discovered by new inklets that haven't discovered my channel yet. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day and that you get to do something crafty this week and until I see you next time, have a good week. Bye.